channel my name's Lisa uh, trying to clean up my mess here like I said the other day uh, when I put my makeup on it turn my table turns into an absolute disaster so how's everybody doing uh, I know today out there for me it's kind of rainy drizzly wet so yeah <laughs> welcome to springtime got a little bit of allergies let's hope they settle down um, what I'm doing today is a review on the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. I thought I bought this in a haul, if you remember this, and the Infallible Pro Glow. Uh, bought these in a haul quite some time ago. And I thought I did, in fact, I know I did the foot uh, reviews on these. My seven day wear test. You know, wear it for seven days, come back and let you know. Because I've got the L'Oreal footage you know uh where i recorded but not this total cover so i thought uh, well i have to redo it you know so let's go over this on the back they have this little grid as you can see let's go over it, it says finish is natural um is it natural oh i wouldn't say that I really wouldn't wear up to 24 hours bull honky coverage is high bull honky texture is air light no I would say texture is a medium I uh, I can feel it on my skin it, it's you know I am not pleased now when I do my wear test as you know what I do is I try it with different primers no primers put it on with brush uh, put it on with beauty blender put it on with my fingers um, different moisturizers different powders you know because it all can affect it okay and this one here I really played with I I think my wear test wear test on it actually went about two weeks because I was trying to get this to work. I did anything and everything I could to get this thing to work. And I just couldn't. It it looked cakey. It looked splotchy. It looked streaky. It And if you try to um, medium coverage, not total cover, not full cover, a light medium is what this was and if you went to go try to build it up um it would just pull off what was there it dried as far as i'm concerned it dried very quickly i mean just that quick and that's why it was pulling off so um save your money because it settled into the lines it settled into the pores it looked cakey I mean and even the one day I did get it to look halfway decent which I mixed in with pro glow but it didn't I wouldn't even say it looked halfway decent I wasn't gonna go out in public with it really um, I still only got six hours of wear out of it it just did not hold up at all period I got stuff on my finger from that Pro Glow. Um, yeah, save your money on this one, girls. Um, don't get it. Now, unless, here's that disclaimer again. Um, you may like this, and if you do, please let me know down below what you, how you put it on, you know what you used what primer you used what moisturizer you used let me know all that because I with these L'Oreal foundations I'm finding out that is so key to getting them to work so uh, yeah 
Now, if you're wondering what I've got on my face today, it's my normal stuff. Um, though it is, I've been mixing the Revlon 24 Hour and the L'Oreal Pro Glow uh, for my foundation. Kind of like it. Um, it's matte, yet it's not too, and it's not too glowy. So, yeah. Uh, and I'll be putting up the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation review as well here fairly quickly. I, I, I've got that one done. Um, let's see here. Oh, I dipped into an Urban Decay Naked palette for my eyes. So, yeah, I've been playing around with that. That's all matte. So, uh, yeah, my daughter let me have it because she can't work with it. And so she said, here, Mom. And I'm going, ah. Anyway, uh, th I want to thank you for joining. If you liked the video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, the bell next to it. And it's easy to share a video with a friend by just uh, clicking on share and going to like your Facebook and you can send it to a friend that way. So, uh, or put it on your Pinterest, let your friends know what you're interested in. I do want to thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day. Hope the sun's shining in your area. Bye.